Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing the tutorial. It's a little bit different. I'm going to be looking at doing the gold that I usually do, but using five different shades on it, so that at the end of that, you'll be able to see exactly how these different coloured shades affect a different kind of gold. So I'll be following this up with a different version of doing gold, using different colours to what I usually do. But we'll start off with this one and see how it goes. So the first colour we're going to use is Citadel Agrax Earth Shade. Now each of these Stormcast has been sprayed with Citadel Retributor Armour, the Ral Can or the Spray Can, whatever you want to call it. We're going to start by doing the Agrax Earth Shade, which is the usual colour I use for doing the shading on the gold. Next up, we're going to be having a little bit of Citadel Agrax Earth Shade Gloss, which is slightly different, keeps more of the shine so it doesn't have that dulled effect. I'm going to paint this on a different one. I'm going to do this with five different shades on five different miniatures, all with the gold, same kind of storm cast, so that you can see the differences in the colours once they're all done. The next one is going to be Citadel Reichland Flesh Shade. Now this has a slightly redder hue to it, so you get a kind of red tint to the gold. This is also matte as well, so it's got a matte finish, so it will be dull when it's finished. You can also do the six pack at the bottom there if you want to as well. We're going to be using Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss on the next part too. And just applying this in. Now the whole point of this video is to show you the different colours, the different shades, how it affects the gold. And then at the end there will be a load of pictures so you can see the differences between it. The final one we're going to do is Citadel Null Oil Gloss. I just find doing black on the gold makes it very very dark. I use it on the likes of the Black Legion and stuff like that, just because it does really, really dim it down. So now we're going to reapply the Retributor Armour to all the golden parts. I'm basically going to follow each of these parts through every section. So this first guy I'm going to show you in slow time, reapplying the gold so you can see where I'm applying the gold back to. And then the rest of them will be speeded up because it's going to be reapplying the same colour to the same areas, just on the different miniatures with the different shades. Now if you've watched any of the other videos, this is the same that I use all the time as a Grax Air Shade. Because I like the kind of dull finish that it gives in all the creases and things. But the Grax Air Shade Gloss I do think looks really nice too because it maintains that shine so it gives the shade so I may start using that in the future. Alternatively if you do spray it with a matte varnish once you've finished, you might want to just use a little bit of gloss varnish to go over the shade anyway just to give that shine back. So you're just reapplying the gold Retributor Armour to all the areas, making sure that you leave some of the Agrax Air Shade in the recesses and making sure you're applying the Retributor Armour to all the areas that are going to catch the light. Like so. So next up we're going to reapply the gold to the Reichland Flesh Shade this is. You can tell it's dull and it's got that red kind of hint to it. You can see as soon as you start reapplying this gold that the shade around it, giving that kind of red look, does apply a completely different look to the Agrax Earth Shade. So we're just going to fly through the rest of these colours because it's only going to be applying Retributor Armour to the different shades and you'll be able to see what they're starting to look like. So this is the Agrax Air Shade Gloss. When you start reapplying the gold, it just lightens that back up a bit because you can still see the shine underneath. So this is a really good colour to do with the gold. Next up is going to be the Nuln Oil Gloss. Once again, just reapplying the Retributor Armour to all the areas that be catching the light, but you do get that nice shine in the shade where the null oil gloss is. And the final one we have is the Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss. And once again we're just going to reapply the Retributor Armour. Like so. So to highlight the armour we're going to start with Citadel Liberator Gold. 
we'll be thinking about where it's going to catch the light so I always do towards the bottom of each of the chest plates there also a slightly thinner bit on the top of the chest plate too and the same on the other side now if you think the paint looks a little bit mottled here when I used one of the spray cans a while ago it did coat probably about a third maybe of my Stormcast with this kind of nice textured finish you can brush a lot of that off using a firm bristled toothbrush and a lot of hard work you could strip them but it takes a lot of time and effort to strip that paint back off them so I just figured just toothbrush them get the worst of it off and then paint over it as I say it did only happen to about a third of them so it's not something wrong with the cans I think it was just probably badly mixed not shaking enough I always make sure I shake the can a ridiculous amount before spraying now but you can paint them pretty well over the textured surface anyway there's a Stormcast Retributors step by step on the blog and they are all sprayed with a kind of strange lumpy finish to them but it shows you how you can overcome that with shading and highlighting so even when they're finished it doesn't look too bad it's only when you're looking at them up close you can see that kind of weird texture to them now we're reapplying this to the Reichland Flesh Shade it's the same again, using exactly the same technique with the Liberator Gold on each of these so whichever shade you choose to use you're reapplying all the colours back onto it in exactly the same way this is just to show the difference in the different shades and how they finish at the end you've got a Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss here which does actually look really really nice, quite a warm gold to it Now we are onto the Null Oil Gloss. Like so. And the final layer that we do for the gold are the little bit of Vallejo Modeler Silver or Vallejo Modeler Chrome. Either one works just as well as the other. Add that to the Liberator Gold and then we're just going to do some extreme highlights on the areas that would catch the most light just to make them really stand out. Again I'm just going to be going through the first one in slow time so you can see this being applied for the whole thing. Then we'll speed up the rest of them. So once you've applied it to one or you're applying it to whichever one you're using the method is exactly the same we'll be doing similar with a different gold also have auric armor gold so we'll be having to play around with that and doing a similar thing just to show the different kinds of gold that you can use with that as well so this should give you a good idea of what you can get away with just by changing the shades on it. So now we're going on to the next one. Just going to quickly redo the highlights on all of these using the Liberator Gold and Vallejo Modeler Silver Mix. It's literally just the edges and the very tops of things that you want to be doing this on it just makes the edges and what have you stand out look really really shiny the Reichland flesh shade gloss here you can see the shade gleaming underneath the gold there that's one thing that when you do varnish it if you use like a matte lacquer which is what I tend to use it will dull that right down so you can use a little bit of gloss varnish just over the shades to bring that shine back up
we have the normal Rikelon flesh shade here, which is the matte one. Which if you're using this, you don't mind about not having the shine, that's fine, because you just spray that with the matte lacquer or the matte varnish. And that'll stay exactly as is. And finally, we're going on to the Nuln Oil Gloss. Just doing the highlights quickly on this one. Like so. So here we have the Agraxair shade, Agraxair shade gloss, the Reichlan flesh shade, and then the Reichlan flesh shade gloss, and the Nuln oil at the bottom. And here you've got the Nuln oil on the left, working your way through the Reichlan flesh shade gloss, Reichlan flesh shade, Agraxair shade gloss, and the Agraxair shade. So it's quite handy to see what the different shades do. So hopefully you found that useful. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the content and you like the channel and you'd like to support us, please think about going to our coffee page where you can buy us a brew. Thanks very much.